Okay, well, I thought I'd give this a go because a lot of people seem to think that it's impossible or it's dangerous or whatever, and it's certainly something that you need to know what you're doing. So I've taken the screws off out of this to expose the, uh, the power supply, and basically you've got an AC side and a DC side. And actually, in particular, what you're interested in adjusting is this little guy here. You'll see him around the place. He have, often has RV written on him for res resistor variable. And he's a trim pot, uh, varistor, you know, potentiometer, whatever you want to call it. And uh, he's used to uh, sort out that the voltage is exactly what you expect. So let's power it up here. And my meter is now showing that it's putting out 54.25 volts, which I personally think is a little bit too low. So let's, there we go, just a tiny turn of that with a flat blade screwdriver, I've got it up to 54.9. Now that's good because it's still, you know, below 55. And that means that as this output stage here, we're going to have uh, a good enough voltage to make sure that the BMS, which itself will drop a few volts as it um, as it operates, because nothing's 100% efficient, nothing's perfect with no resistance, uh, that'll mean that the BMS will actually have enough voltage to make sure that it can actually put 54.6 into your cells rather than maybe 54.2 or whatever. Equally, if you're one of these people that um, believes the, I don't know, unsubstantiated bullshit on uh, Reddit about, um, or wherever you've read it, um, about how to make your batteries last six times longer or a hundred times longer by um, uh, undercharging them completely, not what the manufacturer says, but all based on one study, um, which is a good study, but it's only about cells, not batteries. Then you can tune it back down again if you want to make sure that your batteries run flat. So there you go. Um, now I'm just going to put all this back together again. Do not touch any of the AC side while it's powered up. And it should be right. So now I could just basically turn it off at the wall. And you'll notice that it takes a little while for it to fade out because these capacitors here hold the charge a bit. And then now she's dropping down and goodbye, it's all out. So I'll unplug it and put it all back together again. Woohoo!